as much as I love the coast, I just couldn't bring myself to go back to those same places, even though I loved them. again on another adventure today and today's adventure is Colorado Springs so we are gonna go check out an area called Garden of the Gods here in Colorado Springs Colorado and hopefully be able to get in a hike it's a beautiful day today sunny sky supposed to be about 78 degrees which is about perfect I really prefer warm weather. I think I'm just a displaced like Floridian or something, but anyway, it's why we live this lifestyle so that we can RV to the places we wanna go and I can stay in warmer weather for longer. So we're gonna go check that out today and get in a hike and we'll bring you along and uh, show you what all there is to see in that area. Yeah. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to really qualify this as a hike because it's mostly paved. <laughs> it's definitely good exercise and walking and it's absolutely beautiful. But the kids were very quick to point out that this is not a hike, walking along a paved trail. And the paved trail is only open for pedestrians. So it's not open for cyclists or rollerbladers or anything like that. So. And there's a deer. So just right behind me are just a couple of deer. And they're super close to the pathway. So obviously they're not very afraid of people. They're probably very used to people being in this area where there's a lot of people, but um, really cool how just close they are right there to the path. It's just beautiful to see wildlife that close. Yeah. So why do you think it's called Garden of the Gods? I think it's like called Garden of the Gods because like maybe like Greek people named it. Greek like people they, named yeah, it? Yeah, they think like, you know, they were confused. They were confused. They were confused. So like, they think that like this is the their so-called gods garden. Mm, maybe, huh? The Garden of the Gods given to the city of Colorado Springs in 1909 by the children of Charles Elliott Perkins in fulfillment of his wish that be kept forever free to the public. Oh, well, that's cool. So it's forever free to the public, which we didn't pay to get in, did we? No. No. If you are a technical climber and you've got that expertise in gear, they do have where you can get a permit and you can do technical climbing here at the Garden of the Gods Park. So you can get your permit and they've got these kind of areas like you can see behind me that you can access some of the formations for technical climbing. So season one was probably really more just about the coast. And if I had to say anything about season two, is that it's probably going to be more about the mountains and hiking. Now, personally, I am totally for team beach. 
I would much rather be on a beach with my toes in the sand and listening to the waves. However, uh, we wanted to go see some places we hadn't seen before. And there are a lot of areas in the United States that have mountains and hiking. And so that is what our travel plans are all about this year. Now, we will get in a little bit of beach time on the West Coast in California, but other than that, it is more about the mountains and the hiking, which is part of why we find ourselves here today in Colorado Springs, is taking advantage of this area where we haven't been yet in getting in a little bit of outdoor time and hiking. So as you stay tuned and make sure that you are subscribed for season two, you're gonna see that it's going to follow more of a theme about the mountains, about some hiking, about um, maybe even some desert areas, as you've seen in some of our other really technically season two videos with Arizona, versus so much the coast. So as much as I love the coast, I just couldn't bring myself to go back to those same places, even though I loved them. I loved Florida. There's more deer. Oh my God. Come on, deer on the road. Whoa, deer. <laughs> we probably Here, should have dropped a deer. pin. When are we gonna learn GPS. to drop a pin where we park? Parking lot's over there, let's just go. I swear, you would think we would have learned that by now. Now we're like on a deer hunt, but not the kind of deer hunt that you would think with like guns to shoot, but cameras to shoot. <laughs> Which that's probably the best kind of deer hunt that There's there is. There's a bee on the back. Is the camera shoot. With the deer. Right behind you. I saw it jump. Is there a bee following me? It's cool. Ever Maybe I should deer. not have put on that magnolia. Oh, there! Right there! Oh, he's, he's, in the he's in the tree. He's in the trees. It's right there. Oh, he's chasing, he's a, chasing bunny. a bunny? So it was first called red rock coral here coral? by um, the Europeans. So then mm. in August in 1859, there was two surveyors who um, helped set up Colorado City. They explored this site and one of the surveyors, uh, who is like MS Beach, suggested that it would be a good place for a beer garden. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <sighs> so um, his companion, the he was so awestruck, he basically yelled, beer garden? Why, it's a fit place for the gods to assemble. We will call it Garden of the Gods. Oh. Knew it! I still fail to see how they made the connection between beer and like yeah, celestial beings. Maybe when you're drunk, you see things. Yeah, I think it <laughs> had something to do with the conversation during a, a couple adult beverages. Maybe, or maybe you know how like back in the 1800s, like even the language was just kind of different, you know? Like they yeah. used different vernacular. So maybe it's just a lost in translation thing. just an absolutely beautiful area here in Colorado Springs. There's several different trails for people of all different types of skill levels. And so whether you are in maybe a little bit better physical condition or maybe you just need something that's not quite as strenuous, there's great options for everybody. There's plenty of people out here today pushing strollers or families, people that are a little bit more on the uh, mature side with some gray hair. I think I actually might have some gray hair now too. I might need to like find a different thing to say about that because I have gray hair now too. It's just an absolutely wonderful place to come visit. So if you find yourself with Colorado on your trip plan, you definitely need to make this a priority. Now, one thing that I want to talk about is the fact that this really is almost in our own backyard. Our home base is only about a two and a half hour drive from this area. So even though we did choose to get a campsite at a local campground here in Colorado Springs, it is really something we could have easily done in a day trip. It just happened to be a stop on our way for our summer travels. So really want to just encourage all of you guys to take advantage of maybe what's in your own backyard. We have these areas that are all over where we are 
and I'm sure that wherever you find yourself, there's probably some natural areas or probably some things that you just haven't taken the time to check out yet. So even if RV life or going on big, huge trips is not your jam, you can still get out there and enjoy time with family by taking advantage of what just might be in your own backyard. So one of the things that I think is just really cool about this area is that it is free to the public. A lot of places that you find that are similar to you know this where maybe you would have some really cool things to see rock formations or what have you but that have like a developed trail system um, and even you know like some trash cans along the way you find most of those in either your state park system or your national park system that have fees associated with use of those areas and so the cool thing here is that it's free to the public so it's a very nice thing that they offer for not only just the residents of Colorado Springs but any visitors where it is free and open to everybody to come and enjoy without any sort of fees associated with it so really cool thing that is very low cost so anybody of uh, any walk of life other than maybe your cost to just drive out here can enjoy this. So we are definitely not from around here so it's sometimes good when you go to different places to find out from some people that are from the area where the best places to eat are. So because of coronavirus, <laughs> we're parked in front of Rudy's right now. We just called and put our order in on the phone and um, we're waiting for what is going to be, we've been told, the best barbecue of our lives. So if uh, the volume of cars in the parking lot says anything, this place is going to be super good. Yeah. So. so I would like to get the jumbo smoked potato with the two meats. Okay. And then on there, what, could I could I get brisket? And then. And do you want butter, sour cream, and cheese on it? Yes, please. And then I want a half chicken. Okay. And then I'll do a, a half chicken and then a corn on the cob, chocolate pudding. Okay. And Anything else for you? That should do it. Did you want any barbecue sauce, pickles, onions, or jalapenos? Uh, pickles and uh, the re regular original barbecue sauce, please. So give me about 20, 25 minutes and we'll have that ready for you. And I have it under Ben. When you get here, you'll just come to the country store and let us know you're here to pick up an order, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, kiddos. We've got Rudy's. Break this out. What? 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 Mm. Hungry. I know everybody's hungry. Come Smells on. good. Let's dip into this. Be careful. Potato. Look at that. Potatoes, brisket, and chicken. So why we have been here in the Colorado Springs area, we stayed at this KOA, which is technically in the fountain. Now this KOA is a pretty nice KOA, like you would expect from any KOA. It is a KOA holiday, which gives it some more of the amenities, but because of the COVID situation right now, we were not able to enjoy some of those extra amenities, such as the playground, the splash pad, the jumping pillow, all of those you know fun things that you do get with a KOA holiday that are just not open as of right now. So it was a good place to land for the few nights that we were here before that we move on in our journeys. But it also is a little bit on the pricey side, just like most any KOA holiday would be. But overall, we enjoyed our stay. It was really quite interesting. Just on the other side of the highway from us is Fort Carson, which is a military base. 
and at 6.30 in the morning, if you were listening closely, you could actually hear somebody on a trumpet playing Reverie uh, to wake everybody up. And then at 10 o'clock at night, if you also listen very closely, you can hear um, them playing taps at 10 o'clock at night. So kind of an interesting experience being not too far away from Fort Carson, the military installation that's just not far here across the highway. So. We enjoyed our stay and now it is time to move on. So we're gonna get on the road. Okay, well come grab it. It's my phone. I swear it takes us hours to get out of here. You got what you need? All right, cutie. My vlogging camera. Oh, it's her vlogging camera. All right. Oh, look. Mm, so good. <laughs> so today we are at um, Garden of the Gods, and we today we're just gonna go on a hike. So what does the rock feel like? It feels like a bunch of rock bumps, bumpy and all that. Bumpy? Sandy. Sandy? Feels kind of like sandstone maybe? You can try to climb it. It's actually less deserty. Or I mean... Less uh, deserty? It's like Sedona <laughs> with green grass. 